Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Risha Airstream X textile jacket. This jacket from Risha is mostly meant for riding in summer, but it's actually a bit more practical than just a simple summer only jacket. It's got removable waterproof and thermal liners, as well as the mesh sections on the outer, so it covers more riding conditions than it would appear at first sight. So let's run through the details. It's made from a polyester outer with a ripstop type material around the shoulders and then a more regular 500 denier thickness down the rest of the arms, down the sides and at the lower back. It all adds up to enough protection to get an overall CE rating of level A, which is the basic pass level. The mesh panels are on the lower front, the inside of the arms, and then they cover most of the back. Out on the road, they allow plenty of airflow. I tested this jacket when the temperatures were getting up towards 30 degrees Celsius, and it was actually quite a relief to put this jacket on after wearing one with a fixed waterproof lining and just zipped vents. There are sections of soft shell material as well, which give a flexible, comfortable feel on the road. The main fastener, that's a simple zip, and then the collar at the top does up with Velcro, and there's a neoprene throat section that squashes down to make it more comfy. The collar can also be left open because there's a hook and loop to retain it for more airflow around your throat. The cuffs do up with zips and Velcro, they're not the widest. Risha cuffs are often quite narrow, but I could fit a full length glove inside this jacket. I reckon they'll fit most gloves that you're likely to want to wear with a lighter weight jacket like this. Really it's winter gloves where you might struggle to get them under the cuff. In terms of fit adjustment, there are Velcro belts at the waist, and then on top of that, there are two pockets at the hips for storing your stuff. Moving to the inside of this jacket, there are two removable liners. The first you get to is a thermal liner, which secures into the jacket with a zip and poppers at the cuffs. It's mostly quilted material, but there are some aluminium sections that give the kidneys a bit more protection. And then there are mesh panels at the shoulders and across the back. Those reduce bolt where it's not needed because there's a back protector in this jacket that gives extra insulation. And then the outer of the jacket just here has thicker shoulders anyway. There are two Velcro pockets in that thermal liner for stashing your bits and bobs as well. The next layer is the waterproof liner, which is a decent one with a 10,000 millimeter static head, which means it's been tested to resist a 10 meter column of water, which is in line with most membranes in bike jackets. It zips and poppers into the jacket, and it's also lined with a mesh material, which means the membrane itself won't stick to your skin if things warm up and you've still got that liner in place. The mesh lining in there also means Risha could add a pocket inside the waterproof liner, and that's not always something you get on jackets like this, which have removable membranes. So that waterproof membrane connects into the jacket and then you connect the thermal liner inside that if you need it. You can attach the thermal liner directly to the outer, which means you just have the warmth liner and not the waterproof liner, but I can't see any practical reason why you'd actually want to do that. I wore this jacket for a late night ride home in chilly conditions after a hot day out on the bike. It was around 18 degrees Celsius at the time, and I found that just adding the waterproof liner made this jacket feel nice and comfortable. I would have wanted the thermal liner, I think, if it had dropped much lower in temperature, as there's quite a strong airflow through those mesh panels, which does cool things down significantly. Whenever you've got a waterproof membrane behind a mesh panel like this, it'll stop air flowing directly to the body, but it still cools the membrane down significantly, which will reduce the temperature on the inside of the jacket. So if you take both thermal and waterproof linings out of this jacket, then you get to the main inner of the shell. It's mostly mesh lined, and then there's a tougher section down the back. This bit covers the spine protector, which is a D3O insert that comes as standard. It's a narrow strip of protection that meets the basic level one of the CE standard. If you want the extra coverage of a full back protector, the pocket inside this jacket will open up to accommodate one. It's £49.99 for the upgrade, and that meets the higher level two of the CE standard. You can also add chest protection to this jacket if you want. It's £31.99 for D3O chest inserts that meet level one of the CE standard. There are two pockets in the mesh lining as well, and then there's a short zip to connect up to Risha's trousers. Risha also make an add-on that you can add to your belt, and that lets you zip their jackets to whichever pair of jeans you've got. While we're talking about the inside of the jacket, in there you'll find the CE label I told you about earlier, which shows that overall protection meets the basic level in the CE standard, which is single A. The Airstream X jacket is £269.99 as we record this, which is more than many mesh jackets, but this one is much more versatile than many of them. I wouldn't recommend it really for proper deep winter or for riders who expect to see a lot of rain on a regular basis. But if on the other hand, you mostly ride in decent weather and you want something that's gonna keep you cool as well as giving you options on chilly or damp days, then this is actually worth a look. I found it to be comfortable, light, and more practical than I expected really. It was helpful when the temperature was high and it was better than I thought it would be at keeping out chill. And that was with just the waterproof membrane and not the thermal liner as well.
I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Risha Airstream X textile jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.